Ahoy! Now time for tonight's news. I'm going to turn my my mic up. You don't know that at home. That's a little industry secret, oh, yeah. what just happened. Behind the scenes, they call it. Yeah, that's not for everybody to no. see, unless you just watched it just now. Mm-hmm. Amber Heard is back in the news after accusing Jason Momoa of dressing up like her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, to taunt her on the set of Aquaman 2. What? Yep, Momoa said, that's ridiculous. I've always dressed like an aging lesbian who Moonslide is a psychic. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I don't I don't see a resemblance there. No, I th- it really is funny that he's trolling his ex like that. He even has a guitar. Oh, that's right. They were together there. Earlier this week, a naked man wandering around a department store was chased and beaten by male shoppers, or as Paul Pelosi calls it, a one-way ticket to come town. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to Normal welcome. World. I'm Dave Lando. I'm Quarter Black Garrett. With us is Angela. Hi. And we're also, let's play the clip. No. <laughs> Get an intro clip. Moving Just- on to Get Wrecked Big Tech. Scientists have grown an entity that closely resembles an early human embryo without using sperm, eggs, or womb. You guys just keep having your silly little abortion debate while big tech is over here making beyond babies, (laughs) cooking up some freaking fake embryos made of nothing, nothing. They don't need you. They don't need the man. They don't need the woman. They just need the genes and they can somehow, you know, grow this in a lab. Human beings are no longer born. Just like all the meat that these Beyond Babies are going to be forced to eat in their new climate change controlled dystopia that they live in. <laughs> That's fantastic. Please welcome uh, Bridget Fetessy. Hi. Hi. How are you? Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I absolutely love that. I re- Oh, thanks. I, Lab-grown I, meat babies. Yeah. I was just the future. Say, looking around going, this is, this feels like a better version of dumpster fire, like a, a more well-produced version of dumpster mm. fire. It's probably more of a dumpster fire. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> I don't Fair. think so. I, it's just in a larger space. It's still a dumpster fire. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You guys have people who know what they're doing and every dumpster that's fire true. we make is a miracle. We're never, we're like, well, maybe it, it might be in focus. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it worked out. Oh, I've done that oh. before, like recorded entire thing and you get there and you're like oh well entire thing is out of focus Uh, yeah it's like 45 minutes okay great if you notice a delayed clip we we don't all know what we're doing (laughs) and i'm not knocking anybody in the booth i i wouldn't know what to do either it's us over i don't even know how to give you a cue audio issues that's us that's me yeah i'm not apparently the nod is spelling it out you know the clip (laughs) (laughs) the clip make that as casual as possible play the thing (laughs) All right. Well, <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate you coming on. I'm a big fan and uh, obviously check out her show, Dumpster Fire. Yes, check it out. Where can you find it? Is it on YouTube? On YouTube it- and it's a podcast, although that's very funny because I didn't realize people just listen to the podcast and we started this ongoing joke where we started doing the Mexican weather ladies because if you don't know this they're super hot and so we just we did it once and then it was so popular we just now always cut to a Mexican weather lady and somebody who finally watched the video was like oh the Mexican weather ladies suddenly make a lot more sense I'm like (laughs) imagine just listening to this you're like why do they cut to the Mexican weather report every week we don't think about the audio listener at all wouldn't you just I'm sorry one time in like six different dresses or something because like there's a weather shift yeah. a lot there i don't know i don't think it's so. nice right? some it's a hot. i guess they get a little bit they I all look like they're day. about to go get bottle service at the club yeah. directly <laughs> after they do Ooh, their so report oh everything everything's pretend or you're like how is that not because <laughs> <laughs> like i've seen that at the gym where there's like people with the implants in the in the yes, butt but they pretend not, like they're working out but they're not always women and you're like sir could you not do that in front of me like, you're doing <laughs> what you talking about bro like a male version of kegels while i'm oh. trying to work out you're taking a video yeah posting My, it which is kind of true <laughs> and he's like yes do more please yeah. usually if <laughs> i'm at, at the gym i'm doing two reps and then i'm looking at my phone <laughs> <laughs> I'm then, in my rest period in between. Yeah, and then I'm like, I, out. I can get McDonald's now because of that uh, workout I just did. Yeah, yep. you earned it. Yeah. 
Well, Bigfoot, uh, have you heard of him? I di- I have heard of him. He is uh he's supposedly a mytholo- a mythological Mythological? Mythological? Yeah, one of those one uh, of them words. I thought you were gonna be. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say misogynist. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> who knows? Hey, Bigfoot's Bigfoot. a misogynist too. Probably. <laughs> probably. From what I understand, he has a lot of problems with Israel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the stuff that Bigfoot has been saying is really, yeah, really uh, 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 beyond the pale. Yeah, I'm like this guy. I'm like, look, people Anti-Zionist don't even know you're world. real and you hate them. <laughs> and he's Jewish. Bigfoot? Yeah. Well, it's it's short for Bigfootenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Are we allowed to do these jokes? <laughs> well, of course we're kidding. My last name is Landau. Yeah. That's Hebrew. Yeah, that counts. Uh, that counts. I'm, I'm not. Oh, you don't say that part. You stop before oh, you get okay. that part. Well, I just, in case anybody from Jihad was watching, yeah. I want them to <laughs> think. That's true. I want, I'm uh, whatever you anybody like. Anybody from Jihad? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, day no. of, the day of reckoning. It's coming. <laughs> the big day. That's that's their, that's like. It's like Jihad it's like, Eve. I'm it's glad like, we're all flying on this day. I, I know. found out. Isn't that great? Mm. Mm. I think we'll all be at the airport just looking way too hard at brown people. <laughs> Just very suspiciously staring. Just, in the yeah, I'm just looking for bags that are left alone. I'm not well, looking at point. people. I'm oh. I'm looking for bags. Oh, yeah. I'm totally full racist <laughs> when it comes to terrorism. <laughs> I feel like that's when you can completely be like at the look, airport. Uh, like, look, can't be in America because you never know. Yeah, that's true. You never know who it is. Yeah, I, and I'm really not racist. And a lot of the times, uh, like 100 percent of the time so far. There's so much, nice. so much equal opportunity terrorism in this country. I feel yeah. like that's what. It's what makes America great. You. <laughs> you know, you can you can you can take down a trade center or a marathon. It just depends on your level of anger. Oh yeah. man, these are true things. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard about either of those. They were a pretty big deal. Yeah, they, they're yeah. false. Yeah, they were. false flags. So so uh, Tower Bigfoot. Seven. So what back to about? Bigfoot. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so back to things that just aren't can't real. can't help ourselves. Like the Twin Towers happening. <laughs> uh, Bigfoot might have made an appearance in Colorado, and the USDA Forest Service can't say if it's real or not. It's an elusive creature. All right, just squat it down. Yeah, let me see your camera. All day. He squatted down, bro. That's how you know. Sasquatch? What do you think that means? Squat? <laughs> And you can tell he didn't zoom in, so it's probably authentic. <laughs> what do you he th- looked too clean. <laughs> What's your take, Bridget? I just want to know this person. <laughs> <laughs> the camera operator? Not the camera operator. The oh. person who, who decided to just dress up like Bigfoot and go right. out and, and just troll people. Was he just trying out his costume? Oh, that's a good point. It is <gasps> Halloween. Yeah. He's just probably, really taking it for a test ride. Yeah. Like, can I get this to go viral? As a matter of fact, I can. Yes, I can. People are morons, and I'm going to walk 30 feet from them, and they're going to be like, look, bro, look, he's squatting. It's him. <laughs> look how he's hiding in the, <laughs> the side. in the desert. In an yeah. open field. <laughs> I really Bigfoot, like, notoriously very sneaky creature. Not walking elusive, in the open yeah. Elusive. Field like that, so that's yes. what that, what tips me off, you know. I thought he was in the woods too, not a desert. I think, is yeah. this just like because of deforestation? He's been pushed out yeah. of his his He's lands. Got a climate change. Sign. He's like stop fossil fuels. Yeah. Climate change is even killing, Bigfoot. Come on, killing the big feet. They really have nowhere to go from there. <laughs> He's gonna be in you know like spray painting a a, a famous work of art any minute yeah, now. Oh, for sure. yep. <laughs> gluing himself to the streets Throwing of London. tomato sauce. <laughs> Mona Lisa. Gluing his big feet. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of, his big footprint? Yeah. <laughs> his big carbon footprint. <laughs> Apologizing for it. Look, I didn't make, what? What the heck was that? Who throws a wrench? What? What's... Oh my god. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm the Phantom of the Studio. What? Bro, Why? what are you doing? Who are you? Oh, what? you're that. You are the groundskeeper here who got burned when they lit the barn he set on fire. Yeah. That's true. That's and what they don't like to talk about. Why? I'm the Phantom of the Studio, and I am here. I'm sorry, I threw that wrench at you. Are 
What Who's are you playing? here? Are you here to like Who's kidnap playing? Bridget or something? Or? No, no, no. Women are gross. I'm here for you, Quarter Black Garrett. I need Quarter Black. Take one of the girls. You Angela, don't need him. Angela no. needs a kid. I mean, that's, that's, he doesn't want me. He wants Garrett. No, that's flattering, I don't want man, them. but this is weird. I have prepared a musical song for Quarter Black Garrett to entice him to come with me. No. What do you want with him? I don't uh, a private streaming session, you know, video games. Yeah, is that, is that that's, what you want? You just want to pretty, hang out like a couple so you of You don't friends? stream privately. That's the, op, like a streaming thing is like public. So. Yeah. You don't well, do Well, other it. people can watch, I guess, but I mean. <laughs> yeah, but so you want to sing a song? I do, and I do. Stream? Okay. <clears throat> No, 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 nobody wants no, to hear that, no. bro. Nobody wants to hear that. Hey, look. Just let me try. No, 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 no. no. Just Please. Send it, send it to my no. DMs. Just send it to my DMs. I'll all get right. to it. I'll, it'll okay. be fine. I'll slip into your DMs, all right. Okay, well, if no one wants me here, I'll just... Yeah, just get... No, you have to go... Oh, have to go Why didn't you just go back in your room? <laughs> I locked myself out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about the burn face. <laughs> Why don't we lock the doors around here? Is it just this show that he's haunting, or is he going to show up like on Glenn's show? I think it's just this <laughs> show if he wants to keep his job. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's been living up there for some time, though. Mm. I, there was a smell. He's there was a, a smell, and I didn't know where it was coming from, but now I know. He's okay. a little special, so we were like, you can do the show. And he's <laughs> half burned, which is, a, I guess, a handicap of sorts. Yeah. And we're like, we, since you have a melty face. He's handy capable. Okay. So he says. I don't know for sure. Yeah. All right. But the, w nobody ever wanted to know that Barney was shot here. So when they burned the studio down, I don't know why they don't want. That's a great classic children's program that Didn't I watch a lot. Some kids? No. Did he? This yeah. is this is, that is Elmo? not correct. That's Elmo. Okay. That is Elmo. He did have uh, tantric sex yogi videos. That's a separate thing. But he wasn't involved with Barney. Okay. It wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Do you, you work on that show. <laughs> I'm just a big. I am also a big fan of Barney. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I I have my own I'd, my own music. I'd like. Oh to yeah, you're young. Barney. You grew up with Barney. That was my shit. Yeah, I didn't watch Barney. You don't love that. I love you. Oh, I didn't. I know either. the whole song, bro. Old. No, I'm a decade older than you. I'm not gonna feel bad about that. I know the song because I. What was your thing when when you were a kid, Mr. Rogers? Oh, I mean, that's like everybody's. You would watch uh, Jim, will, program. <laughs> Jim will fix it on British television. The fuck is that? Jimmy <laughs> Seville. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not you know the him? best. No. Jimmy Seville was the Mr. Rogers of England. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And he did a lot of bad things. But oh, yeah, yeah I did yeah. hear this. Yeah, had like the keys to children's hospitals. And oh, jeez. Like, I want to go in there and kiss some good boy. Oh, no, no. Oh, Someone give him uh, a little kiss. And if you what? look at Jimmy Sa uh, Saville, Seville or Saville, he looks exactly like what a monstrous pedophile would look like. Yeah. Oh. And then he yeah. had it cut to your. Show. I was looking at your image, and I well. I thought it was going to show me an image, and then it was you. And I, <laughs> as you were saying, it's just, it's just me, but <laughs> I'm wearing looks. glasses, <laughs> and I have a thin mustache. It was a he little bit a of a delay. Like you, <laughs> uncanny, <laughs> weird. Yeah, no, uh, we watched Mr. Rogers. What are you probably missed? Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers and Sesame Street. Yeah. Yep. And they would have like Richard Pryor on, which is great. Yeah. Pee Wee's Playhouse was also another really great I one. Love Pee -wee. Yeah, he always creeped me out a little bit, though. He's kind of in the middle between Mr. Rogers and Seville, somewhere in there. That'd be weird to have all your furniture watching all day. Yeah, it just. Like your chairs have mouths. Seems you know? like he liked that. Yeah, he was really into voyeurism. <laughs> Like, <laughs> well, if I'm going to masturbate, i got to go somewhere where people can see me. <laughs> oh. Does the toaster have eyes? Yes, okay. Uh, all right, Pete. Whip it out now. Oh, yes. Every, <laughs> Do your seats have eyes? Like, he's like, <laughs> it's asking the porn clerk. Oh, uh, no. Like, uh, no. Here. I mean, other people can hear you. Does that help? R.I.P. Paul Rubens. What a classic. Are you, bro. Are you Paul Rubens? No. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, R.I.P. R.I.P. Well, speaking I do of like, creeps, I do like Pee -wee, though. that's not Paul Rubens. I was talking about Seville. Listen, his his set of his child porn was vintage, and you should believe him. He's a collector. Yeah. It's like a vintage car, but, you know. He's an archivist. He's like a historian, basically. Speaking of <laughs> historical moments, <laughs> Dylan Mulvaney 
has won in Attitude Magazines. I'm sure you have Attitude Magazine. Everybody does. I just <laughs> caking your coffee table. Attitude Magazines, first ever Woman of the Year. The Look. Woman of the Year Award, supported by Virgin Atlantic, goes to Dylan Mulvaney. Some people don't see me as a woman at all. I know. Which is why receiving this honor from a queer publication like Attitude means so much more to me. Because here's what I've realized. You ready? Okay. So, no matter how hard I try, or what I wear, or what I say, or what surgeries I get, I will never reach an acceptable version of womanhood by those hateful people's standards. But as long as I have the queer community that sees me for my truth, I'm going to be okay. Scientific standards. Uh, I'm Biological standards. My, uh, what, what is Attitude Magazine? Uh, apparently it's done by Virgin, which we're not sure if it's the record company, the airplanes, <laughs> or the mobile service. <laughs> but it's one of them. Or it could be all three if we yeah. can figure out the umbrella. <laughs> but apparently Attitude Magazine is a queer publication uh, that... Uh, it involves having attitude. That's as far as I've got. Okay. But that's put out by a, a, a corporation. We're not sure which one. Right. We're not yeah. even sure which virgin. More than it's likely backed virgin. by yeah. Black <laughs> which is You do a lot. You do about as much research as we do for Dumpster Fire. I Thank see you. Yeah. Here. yeah I don't. <laughs> you. I didn't really do any digging into it. I just, I was like, yeah, I guess it's a, a queer publication. Yeah. You know shows that are like really informative and yeah. they like go deep dive into these news topics? We, yeah. we kind of just uh, skim Don't. over the top, you know? No, like, we joke. We're like, yeah. we consume the news like you do, which is exactly. read the headlines. <laughs> you read the headlines, you make a joke, you move on with your life, okay? <laughs> and yeah, it's called Virgin when I think really, I don't know, heavily molested <laughs> might yeah. be a better name. What were the planes that went oh. to the island? All right. Were they the Virgin? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that he was. She was. Didn't mean that. I anyway. I was just. He curious. also has an island. Sorry, Jesus is talking to me. Oh yeah. Are we talking about Branson? Branson. He has a. He has, he has an, an island. Island. I'm yeah. Sorry. Uh, what? He has. A, he has his own planes, and then he has his own island. Oh, you mean the guy? Yeah, Richard Branson. Oh, I thought you guys meant Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> I work. <laughs> You're like, damn. I'm on. about He's to. Working on it. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what kind of island is this? <laughs> Island with attitude. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of gratitude in that attitude. You just saw. What's your take on uh, the first uh, woman of the year being a former woman? Oh, or a man? you know, I'm I'm pretty used to it at this point. This yeah. is this is the joke we make all the time on. It's patriarchy so crafty. It's yeah. just it's shifty, kinda, man. Patriarchy so crafty. They'll turn themselves into a woman to stay back on top. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like break your records <laughs> star in the movies it as was, women they're like feminism had a nice run we need to get back in the mix I can't wait to become a woman and not do well yeah. <laughs> it's like wow that's gonna be like that South Park <laughs> subpar woman where, where, where Cartman tries to compete in the Special Olympics and he <laughs> sucks <laughs> yeah. that's gonna be you you'll become a woman and no one will care I'll just put a bow in my hair and that'll be, be the sad. only thing You're like where my island. I'm like, why? I want medals too. Stop misgendering me. I have a bow. You, Angela, what's your take on Dylan Mulvaney <laughs> being a woman of the year? Yeah, it checks out. <laughs> wow. We're good. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else to say, really. This has DEI like, written all over it. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, but this has like corporation. We need some. We need some corporate points, and we're gonna start a magazine, and then we're gonna make a. Dylan Mulvaney, the uh, the winner of the first Woman of the Year award, yep. which was probably written by Mad Magazine twenty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this it wouldn't even bother me if they had had many other Women of the Year awards, but it doesn't first, sound the first like annual. <laughs> I think they misspelled one. that word. <laughs> well, it's pretty <laughs> annual. It, <laughs> first annual. Uh, Unbelievable! Got you in there. No, it's true, though. It's like, it, it's pretty clear that it's planned when it's like, all right, and we're going to make it, you know, that young gal. Uh-huh. Well. And they go, Dylan? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> like, why are we doing this? And we're like, I don't know anymore. <laughs> we don't know why we do any of this. We're all very confused and sad on the inside. <laughs> Cause remember but we'll the, keep clapping. Like, when they gave the, like, Miss Hawaii to uh, 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 heavyset Portuguese man. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> it's so silly now. Yeah, and you're like, uh, and you just have to sit there and like look at your daughter or whatever, like oh. up there and be like, oh, it's great that you gave it to yeah. that guy. You should have named the show Clown World. I don't understand. Is normal. Is the take on how it's not normal yeah. at yeah. all. <laughs> yeah. Because nothing is. Nothing is. Like our pilot, and we do a lot of sketches, was basically just in the future, but everything that we put on film has now happened. Oh, yeah. no. It's a yeah, parody. Basically. So, yeah, AI. Even the splurge. Uh, not the splurge. Okay. Not yet. That's to the Even molesters. That's 2028 when yeah. Gavin Newsom is president. Yeah, okay. <laughs> once, once he gets up in the Oval Office. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We're going to be splurging. We're going to be oh, making it. Oh, boy. Splurge time. <laughs> you know where I like to splurge? Where's that? Oh. My miracle made sheets. Well, that's sure good. I love that segue. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> wow, that's. I just fell out of my they're, mouth. And they're antibacterial, so that's the best place to do it. That's what I'm saying. Like, because you don't have to clean it up. Yeah. Anyway, these sheets have self-cooling properties. I actually do love them. Uh, I have trouble sleeping, as you know. I have night terrors, uh, sleep at machine. Mm -hmm. um, I hear voices. Uh, people yes. talk to me and wake me up when I am asleep mm -hmm. uh, who are not there. Um, but what these sheets do is they allow me to sleep a restful night's sleep. Well, that's great, man. That's when and, you need it. And because I'm a very sweaty, sweaty girl, mm -hmm. I, I, I really enjoy how they're cooling. Cooling? Yeah, they say, cool your sheets. I still don't have a pair. Uh, you I'd love to feel the cooling touch. You really should get them the a The miracle set. seats. Because when I first laid my head... Sheets. sheets. On, yeah, they're not miracle seats, but... Yeah. I mean, <laughs> wait, wait. If you bought enough of the miracle... Sheets, you could make them into seats. No, you could make a seat out of the three free towels you're going to get if what? you order right now. That's right. Is that still a, is? I hope yeah, that's, still a, that's still a thing. Oh, it's still good. Still a thing. Okay, because if not, you guys <laughs> are going to have to send towels because of my faux pas. Oops. You go to trymiracle.com slash normal, and I promise you, you're going to get a five-star feel. They're comfy. I really do love them. I've tried out the product, and I've told Garrett how great they are <laughs> over the phone. I love them, too. Do you love them? I do. I they're, you they have a pair. They advertise on my other podcast, Walkins Welcome, and I I'm gonna jump in and actually say I love them. This is not, I'm not being paid for this. I just yeah. I I got some and I love them, and I can vouch for you saying that they're the best. And their price point is amazing. Yes, it's way lower mm -hmm. than you would think, mm -hmm. and then the quality just feels incredible. Yep. It is, all right, it okay, is like all right, all right, okay, I get it. They're great. They're great. And it's the code normal. Holidays are coming up. It's the easiest, easiest gift. Yeah. It's Everyone needs sheets. Yeah. You just got to be like, soft and silky. You just got to ask them, like, what size bed you got? And they're like, what? <laughs> that is the That's a personal thing. question. <laughs> yeah, they're working it in, like calling people. What, you got a queen or a king? <laughs> Why do you keep calling? Trust me, you're going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep with a window. Sheet you, on. You, you sleep with a window <laughs> open. I'm just wondering if you like it cool. All right, so go to trymiracle.com <laughs> slash normal. Bridget has told you they're good. I've yeah. told you they're good. Garrett wishes he could try them. That tells you right there. And so use the code normal to save 20% off. Right now, Miracle, so confident. And they are backed by a 30-day warranty. That means you can send it back. Does it come with a woman? I It <laughs> might. I th I think if you ordered from Hobby Lobby. Oh, okay. Or what was that place that was? <laughs> Hobby Lobby? It's not they Hobby have like Lobby. A, what was it? Like a craft store woman? It there was, was the building furniture place. Yeah, the place where it was like women in cabinets. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Wayfair. Yeah, Wayfair with like the cabinets uh, that are $40,000. And you're like, that's weird. Yeah. For a cabinet? Why is that so expensive in your It's got a child inside. Oh, I get God. it. They get a person to sell into sex slavery. Allegedly. Okay, allegedly. <laughs> so that's a good deal. I, so yeah, wayfair.com slash normal. <laughs> you get sued. Please, oh. you can sue me. I have nothing. <laughs> I'm wearing an $8 Def Leppard shirt. It looks rad, though. Thank you. I like to. I, I like that. I go a little bargain bin. That's pretty good. Where, you get that recently? Uh, yeah. That looks vintage. My son's a drummer, so he enjoys playing. You know, I'm like, oh, yeah. look, yeah. this guy's got one arm, so you can always be better than him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's almost does the, the opposite. And you're like, dang, he's really good, and he's only got one arm, and I suck, and I have two. I know. He's going to do. He kicks ass. He, anyway, last night, I, Shank Uger, what is it? Shank Uger from the Young Turks. Do you know of Shank? Shank? And you know the Shank? Are yes. you a friend of Chank? 
I don't know him now. Okay, he announced his presidential bid. Oh. So if you're planning on voting, that's where you go. I thought he wasn't born in America. That is correct. He was born in Istanbul. Oh. And therefore, Wait. ineligible for the presidency. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Istanbul, I just found out, is not just a country in Disney movies. Oh. It was a real place. Wow. Yeah, it used to be Constantinople. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a song or something. Yeah. yeah. Istanbul, Constantinople. I learned two things today. There you go. Californication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dave Dave put the, the two words, California and fornication, in the title I'm not fornication and figured it out. It's two different words. <laughs> like I always thought like Californication because I just heard it once was like you making people all California and I never thought about it. And then we were talking about the show Californication yeah. with all the sex and I was like, oh, wow. do you ever like not get something for 20 years and then you're like just driving and you're like, oh, son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> They're the bad news bears because they weren't good. Well, darn. Look at that. So, <laughs> Also, Istanbul is in Turkey. And that's why they're called the Young Turks. Oh, oh, is he? In, oh, yeah, he's Turks. Turkish. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't think you can vote for him. <laughs> no, hey, if he's not, well, watch, him. watch his campaign video, at oh, least, and then you it. can make a decision. Here comes the controversial part—the part I shouldn't say. I believe that I am going. I, if I were the rule, uh, the benevolent dictator of the world, I would legalize bestiality where you are giving you are you are pleasuring the animal you see what i'm saying okay okay, okay. what when i watch okay yeah because if the animals pleasure what? you right it's weird is that, a, is that real that's yeah. real that yeah. is a 100 not ai he said that for real it's not his campaign video but it is <laughs> i don't break it <laughs> Where do you guys drag this stuff up from? Or is it just going around hey after he announced it's his bed? Internet. It is the internet. It's the internet. <laughs> no, I've known that for years. That's a that's a crazy classic. Clip. So that's his classic. thought is if the horse is given it, then it's okay. No, if you're it's, giving it to the horse, it's But okay. if you're giving it to the horse? But the horse yeah. can't consent. So Well I feel like then that it's a Have you ever seen the Mr. Hands video? <clears throat> that's it? another thing on the internet. Was oh. he actually serious about running? Uh, yeah, he is now. He is yeah. now, yeah. But doesn't he know the rules? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, sir, are you aware? <laughs> uh, I, I'm assuming no. I guess yeah. people want to change the rules. Oh, and he's hoping that he he's going to be. What are in. these rules you're talking about? I mean, he's yeah, going to be like, election. Silly. Hey, you guys, how do you feel about animals? <laughs> what do you think about changing the old institution? <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> hey, just hear me out. We right. add an amendment. The sheep wants it. Oh, God. <laughs> They're very soft. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, he seems like he's very angry. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody... He's got pent-up anger. Anybody no? doing that to animals? I don't he's got to hide I, his, his love. I don't think I even knew of him until that compilation of him having the meltdown after the election went viral. That was glorious. Hmm. I still sometimes watch that and laugh. It's really funny. Because <laughs> they, they go into it so hyped. They're like, Hillary's in, no doubt. And then, Just, okay, no, it's okay. We can still, we can still hold this together. It'll be okay. Okay, this is a little worrying, but like it'll be like we can get a few more points, and then they're just completely ranting by the end of it. And oh, it's a complete meltdown! Just watching oh. someone—it's not right. The internet has given us the ability to watch people lose their minds. Yes, in real time. Yeah. Yes. What was the moment it's that great. like us? Yes. <laughs> what was the moment that you like think us. cracked you to start you doing into broadcasting and stuff? At least in the way you do it now. Uh. I, I used to, I was always on Twitter and I was I would make jokes like a lot of my stuff is faux outrage you know it's like dar, dar, dar. Yeah. Oh, like and the, a little bit of a bit yeah, yeah but people weren't hearing it that way and I felt like a lot of people might get me if they heard me saying it I was wrong wrong yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> wrong. Yeah. absolutely incorrect <laughs> but it made me i was like i really just want to bring my twitter to life because it was just making fun of so many the the world was so insane and is yep. 
but now it does get to that point where you you are kind of like how do I how do I even parody any of this? Yeah, it's very hard to because anything you think of is pretty much a reality or an acceptable. And even if you go to the darkest like corners of your mind, you're like, oh, that's a thing already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's nice. Yeah, so that that's how. And it was kind of a hope. Hopefully not losing my mind just an just an expression of of my insanity <laughs> yeah well, like if i go crazy publicly maybe i won't lose my mind but that was also wrong uh, oh no <laughs> also incorrect well i had a meltdown on this show i get it <laughs> but well, i mean it wasn't over an election yeah. why trump i don't know <laughs> ah, ah, yeah does he like sheep that's my favorite thing about it when they were just freaking out. Well, it's like, it, yeah, it, well, at least they didn't do anything crazy, like stop the world from working. You know, yeah. Yeah, well, the cognitive. That was the next election. <laughs> well, I know, but I, yeah, I feel it was a, it was Retaliation a little bit to the first. Yeah, the cognitive dissonance in real time is is interesting to watch and and play see that play out and and hilarious until it's not. I just had Walter Kern on my other podcast, Walk and Wel- Walkins Welcome, which is a little more not always serious, but it's more of an interview. And he was like, the you know that the establishment kind of wants you to laugh at all of the inconsistency, and it wants you to be like, oh, you said this and you said that, knowing that you'll basically like take whatever next thing they give you and have to just eat it and mm. i was like oh i thought i was i'm part of the problem <laughs> <Dang it. laughs> like you, we want you to create the mass confusion yeah, yeah aware he's like, of it. yeah so that didn't make me feel any better now i was like i'm pushing back against the insanity it's like well, nope it, you're just normalizing it if you listen to every person that says like the, they want you to do this then every action you do is them wanting you to do that yeah, they, they want you to pay attention to it all the time. They don't want you to pay attention to it all, at all. They want you to make fun of it. They want you to be sad. It's hard to tell. It is hard. It's kind of like nothing. That's yeah. why. That's why we stand for nothing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's the mission of this show. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. It, nothing. It, nothing. But it, it wants you to be entertained. Yeah. Because I don't get the world. Unplug. That's what it is. It's like my. I. It's not that I enjoy. People uh, like da- uh, what is his name? Davenport Mulvaney. Davin Mulvaney. <laughs> Davin Mulvaney. Davin. Davin. <laughs> Davin. Davin. Macaroni. <laughs> that would have actually been better. <laughs> I would just go by that. I'd be like, I'm Davin. Like, is that even a woman's <laughs> no. name? You're like, I, well, what? It doesn't matter. It's not a name at all. Yeah, as now. Davin. Have you ever tried to put your penis in a penis? I'm Davin. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take me to an all you can eat salad bar? <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's how I pick people up. <laughs> as, as a girl on the street, yeah, <laughs> dressed Sorry. in drag, yeah. But yeah, that's uh, yeah. I I do enjoy the fact that he is the first woman of the year because I get to talk about it. Yeah. Is that wrong? It's very silly. Well, it's like we joke all the time. What's bad for the world is good for good dumpster for fire. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's not. It's not good. Again, though, it's probably not great. Yeah, <laughs> I just love that an actual woman hands it to her. I don't know why yeah, I'm bringing it back, like, but it's just so funny. Like, here you are. I'm going to be over here, yeah, out of the way of the woman. With the actual ovaries, I'm going to stand over here. You don't need them anymore. To you with the penis. You don't need ovaries. You just need that, you know, you the, yeah. you know. that pizza kit. You need some blush. That's all you need. Yeah. Sometimes not even that. No. You just need, a, you just need to believe. Yeah. This is like Tinkerbell. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Dave's we're, announcing. Yep. <laughs> he has another penis. announcement. Yeah, people think it's obesity, but I want to be a woman. It's pregnant. That's what I told my doctor. <laughs> He's like, You're you seriously have to lose weight. And I was like, I'm like you pregnant. have testicular <laughs> cancer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I am. I'm like, there's no way I have testicular cancer. Excuse me, I, sir. I'm pregnant. Not yeah, I'm I am i do not know why you would speak to me like that. And he's like, But are we gonna seriously do this? I'm like, Do you like being a doctor? <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> I do. And I go, so. So I'm pregnant. Yeah. Oh. So I'm going to go get in the stirrups and you're going to make believe. We're <laughs> going to check around down there. Gonna... Isn't it one of the weirdest phenomena of modern medicine, aside from what we're discussing, the fact that you can't tell someone they're fat anymore? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, as a doctor, it's got to be impossible to do your job. It's like you're 300 pounds braver than you should be. <laughs> yeah. And if there's a chart here, you could be less brave. <laughs> 
I have a, a cartoon on the wall. I'm pointing at the brave woman over here. That's you. We're not saying we, we need don't. to cut it down. Yeah, we just want you to be a little more uh, self hating. Yeah, you know, see, inch it over, over here. Over here, looks like she can run, go yeah. up flights of stairs. If you want your heart problems. to work, see, the heart's the size of your fist. Can you make a fist? Okay, well, it's much smaller <laughs> than that fist, but. <laughs> That's why I keep the drumstick. It's a giant, like. It's yeah. got to be talking bad. about myself. It's got to be, yeah, because even as a doctor, like as a gynecologist, there's a lot of them that have gotten in trouble for not seeing men. Oh yeah. And they have to walk in and, and just go, okay, well, you don't have cervical cancer, and it's like, well, aren't you going to feel around? Uh, no, it's a, it's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'd walk in and be like. Turns out you don't have a vagina. Oh my god, we need to get you somewhere. We need to figure out what's going on. Oh, yeah, we'll have it okay. removed. <laughs> that is suck if you Go actually wrong. need to see your gyno and you're just sitting there with like six dudes. That's what it's gonna be. <laughs> like sparkles and Starscream and yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be that soon. And then they're like, mm, sorry, but we've got to see these six dudes or we'll lose our license. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna have to come back tomorrow, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> we're afraid we have to bump one appointment today and uh, bad. and we know where it's gonna be listen there's six white guys who are somehow now a protected minority because <laughs> they're in wigs so if you could go uh i have some vagicox to look at <laughs> did i go too far you just yeah. came up with a nice uh medication commercial yeah vagicox vagicox it's gotta it's gotta end with an x yes yeah. oh for sure and just a doctor like looking for your man vagina. <laughs> a doctor looking through like one of those like jewel glasses, <laughs> and just going, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah an, looks an fine. Opera glove and a little opera. Yeah, pinky out. <laughs> I feel like the opera glove would have been a great segue into your friend. Oh, would have been. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, call no my, don't call him my friend because now he's going to hear that and he's going to take it places I don't want it to go. He's going to be stalking. <sighs> it's going to be already. Be careful. He might come for. He won't come for the women. No, weird guy. Well, he's not. A <laughs> at least he's not coming <laughs> no. for the women. No, he he locked himself out. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's still stuck behind the door. Yeah. At least someone's not coming for the women. I know, right? <laughs> One Even guy. that though, I'm like, come on. Yeah, you're like you're supposed to come for me. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> you go to like the Pantages Theater to see Phantom of the Opera. It's all changed. <laughs> Just, just a guy coming for the actors. <laughs> You're so beautiful. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. My mom made me watch it in Toronto when I was eight, and I was like, oh, "Mom, I hate this." I went as the Phantom of the Opera for Halloween when Did I was a really? kid. Really? Nobody knew what it was, even though like the adults. That seems pretty very... highbrow for a kid. Thank you, thank you. I was very disappointed. She was Wait, like, what are you supposed to be? A ghost? Why the, I was like, what? Where were you that the adults didn't know what you are? I was, you know, out in the streets getting candy. Of what? Neighborhoods. Yeah, but where? Oh, in Dallas here. Oh. You were in a rural park. Okay, that makes sense. No, 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 no. <laughs> in, in town. Really? In town. And they're like, what is going on in here? Little boy, you're cute. Give me some candy. I get a rural part of like, your Jason mask is broken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put on half of it there. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on with this guy? I was like, the fucking classic. Why were Phantom you of the opera. Phantom? I just thought the mask looked cool. Oh. And he had a cape. Well, and he so, like, loves, cool. and I mean loves Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> Huge fan. <laughs> Organs are great, too. Yeah. Organs are great. It's yeah. a great musical instrument. It's very true. Even if you don't want them. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I want to do more stories. We've got racist, racist, racist birds. birds. And that's, that's all that I wanted there. to do. Um, what is this? Some, some uh, conspiracy against birds now? Yeah, I guess birds are racist. I don't know if you knew that. Like they're pelicans? Are. They're white. Yeah, like I had big birds shout some shit at me uh, in Detroit. Uh, research discovered that wealthier and typically whiter areas attract a larger and more diverse population of birds. What? I wonder if that's... <laughs> it's not just filthy pigeons everywhere eating. What? The researchers argued that this difference is a consequence of redlining, as well as modern wealth disparities. <laughs> Stop. They're saying that they have less Stop. tree canopy 
<laughs> and is there less is there less food to eat off of the ground or uh, something? A, what is the You see there's a greater housing density in green line neighborhoods as well as nature. As a result, <laughs> also have a, a bird biodiversity. Okay. Okay. So there's like they're saying in in the racial areas that they determine well, friends, there's less not... number of different kinds of birds. Like there's just yeah. crackles. There's just yeah. crackles. Just crows. That's it. <laughs> yeah. There's just... Went for the blackbirds. That's what... <laughs> just, <laughs> just, oh, just ravens. Crows and pigeons. Yeah, ravens, yeah. crows, and grackles. <laughs> little... They're just the, they're the crows from Sound of the South. <laughs> Song of the South. Song of the South. <laughs> Look, Dumbo birds. I don't think they want parrots around, though, because when you're in parts I'll of... I'll see an elephant fly. <laughs> there's <laughs> People let their parrots out, and they're all there are feral parrots everywhere in like West Los Angeles. You're telling yeah. me that you want that? No, you don't. And they also I was own... in Pasadena, and they were fucking flying all. They're freaking so loud. Like, ah! They're loud. They're not even like a nice bird song. They're just annoying. Well, hey, you want that? You don't want that because mm. parrots only attach to one person. So when their their homeless owner ODs on fentanyl, it's on its own <laughs> yeah. in L.A. So it has to fly around. All kinds of mangy little parrots. Yeah, so like now you got a huge parrot problem. I'm sorry, but there was some guy that used to go into the ice cream shop with a parrot and let the kid. I was like, get out of here. Yeah. Someone should arrest you. If you're a grown man with a parrot in an ice cream shop, you. Yeah, you're doing. Why that. are you allowed to do this? Yeah, that is, <laughs> this is not acceptable in <laughs> polite guys, society. Please stop. Did you guys want to see where he lives? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? He'll say you? your name. Do any of you have only parents? Uh, single single moms? Single moms in here. Right. Is it just a slow news day or is this like a real... This what? is every day. This is the best we do. No, no. I mean, <laughs> for the LA Times, not for you guys. <laughs> oh, good. Then we're, we're up to Oh, we're bar. good. We're perfect. Okay. <laughs> this is... I'm, this no, this is, is accurate. This is accurate. Oh. It probably is a serious thing where that, yeah, with there's... So, but there are a lot of birds out there. I see them. Right? Yeah. <laughs> How I, much time birds do you spend aren't in the real. That's Hello. Actually, true. They are just uh, what do you call the them? CIA oh, motherfucking. Li- they're drones, bro. Shouldn't they're they be stoked spying, yeah. that they don't have the CIA drones? Which is crazy because when you hit one with your car on accident, it. It squawks very much like a living thing. <laughs> That's how they fucking trick you, dude. Dude, I, you're they put a little, little fake blood in there that looks like blood, and dude. they have a speaker that goes. Whee! I wouldn't chip my window like when I was 17, scared the crap out of me. They're stupid. Yeah. My friend's like, why did you drive your car in my house where I keep my parrot? <laughs> <laughs> it's a stupid joke. I apologize to <laughs> No, but I, I really, I had a cockatiel. Oh, okay. I won it. Why did you have a cockatiel? We had a, we had a drawing in class. And whoever won, won the cockatiel. Oh, I'm sure your parents were stoked. Oh. They, yeah, they loved it. Like, oh, look at this burden. Yeah, my dad, who was a, a nom vet trying to sleep, being just woken <laughs> to the sounds of the jungle. And then you have... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not, look I, at Charlie! I don't know where they live. Punching you? It's probably birds. But uh, yeah, they, no, they hated it. They gave it to my grandma eventually. They were did like, she you like it? She did. We, I named him Feathers because I was totally unique. <laughs> and then uh, I also won Hamsters named Ren and Stimpy. And my mom was like, oh, good. You won twice, Hamsters. Dang. And then Ren ate Stimpy, and I didn't want Hamsters after that. Hamsters are, we we were just talking about this. They're so messed up. Why does anyone give these things to children? They eat their young. They yeah. eat one another. They're vicious, violent creatures. I thought they Disgusting were the, the, these cute little things. And Ren, uh, Ren just uh, ate it. I was his best friend, and I come down, and his ribs are showing. Oh, God. Oh. I had two rats, and one ate the other one. Yeah. Oh, and I came home to find one? it in the leg. Because it's like they eat it because, like, um, in the wild, like, predators coming will smell the dead animal or whatever. So if it dies naturally, that's when they'll eat it to try to, like, keep predators away. away. But I don't know if that one died or if because one the other one just ate it and it was a white yeah. one so it was like covered in blood. It's like Highlander. Like, oh. There can only be one in this. <laughs> Why did you have rats? I liked. It's weird. Mm, you were goth. One was you? named Milk Steak. <laughs> you a goth chick? I wanted to be, but uh, my parents would not allow it. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's why you had rats. Yeah. All goth chicks had rats. It's funny. Like we we, <laughs> we were the, like the lesser goth, the yeah. emo. Yeah, let's right. right. go quite as hardcore as the goths went. Right. But we still had like the, we tip, the wristbands yeah, and we stuff. We got a little bit in there. 
don't wear, yeah. don't wear dark clothes, but you can get a New York sewer rodent. <laughs> yeah. Two of them. I was an adult. You have two of them. I was an adult. <laughs> Oh, you had him as an adult. Ah, yes. okay. We just assumed you were a kid. Wow, that is a that's like the Michael Jackson of Goth Girl story. You're like, well, I just didn't grow up the way I wanted to, so I got some rats. <laughs> when I was free, I got rats. And one ate the other one. Oh no! I would keep that last one. That one's hardcore. He kept he's a fighter. He kept like guys have him. Oh. Really? Yes. Oh, he deserved it. Those are flashbacks. Those aren't strokes. <laughs> he's a cannibal. Yeah, no kidding. He's just all he can hear is the screams of his loved one. <laughs> who he murdered in cold, in cold blood. blood. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why this is reminding me of that Wire episode where the dog eats the rat. <laughs> oh yeah, That's such a good show. Such a good show. We were just talking about the Wire. Yeah. I'm rewatching it again, maybe for the fourth time. It's just so good. such a great show. For season one, they don't know where to go. Like it's it's still good, but it feels like is this Law and Order or is this what? Like you don't. You're know finding yet. the voice it's of the like show. The first like, season what is of it? the X Files, but boy, when that second season kicks in, you're like, this is. Oh, damn. They figured it out. So many good lines. Yep. But yeah. Didn't think of a one, and I wanted to. In my <laughs> I just roll a deck, just like uh, it's really blank. Bad. It's blank, man. I do have it's a shirt, blank. though, that says, if you come at the king, you best not miss. That's one of the lines. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and it's from Omar. Yep. From The Wire. That dude was it was gangster. All the best Omar. names, too. Oh, yeah. All, all just the best names. I believe Omar, uh, he passed away not too long ago. The guy who played Omar, right? Did he? I you just he, check your notes no. like it was oh, going to be. Oh, was him? <laughs> like, we're psychics. <laughs> Truthfully, I was going to make a joke, but then I realized it was going to lead into the question at the end of the show. <laughs> Let's do one more for fun. We have a good guest. Yeah, yeah. One and, more What? Oh, uh, story? Yeah, I'd like to just talk about yeah. how a fourth grade teacher in Miami <laughs> is taking heat for showing students part of the horror movie <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. What? Oh, what? Yeah. Is this educational? Yeah, uh, okay. this is, is this like one of those live. books where they're sucking each other off and they're like, it's for children. No, <laughs> this, <is> just, <laughs> this one's just murder. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, it's kind of, oh, I guess it's probably not unlike a lot of the children's. There's webs on me. There's a lot of the children, like, you know, children's mother. What are the Grimm stories? The Grimm brothers? Brother Goose and Grimm. Oh, yeah, Brother yeah. Grimm. Yeah, not the Mother Goose and Grimm. That was the Wait, this, this is is like a fan fiction? No. Or? So, so Winnie the Pooh, the IP Winnie the Pooh is public domain. So you could go make a movie about it right now. Okay. So these people went out and made a horror movie where Winnie the Pooh is like a slasher killer. Okay. It's like a horror film. Mm -hmm. And then kills teenagers. A fourth the grade teacher. One, <laughs> and then a teacher was like, this is educational. What is wrong with these Florida teachers? <laughs> oh, uh, math. Was it Florida? Wow, that makes sense. <laughs> they just don't want to go outside because of the gators. <laughs> How many times do you have to see a puppy wrestled out of a gator's mouth to be like, stop walking your puppy? <laughs> Along the or marsh. Or your toddler. Or yeah. <laughs> you know, I felt world. bad for that old woman that got eaten, but it's sad because at first I'm like, they're going to eat the puppy. And I was like, oh, good. Oh, it's at least the old woman. She thing. had a good run. That's what I mean. She had a good life. Yeah. I mean, I'm not happy. And you know what? It's kind of her fault. She's the one living in dinosaur land. Yeah, you don't walk along a, a gator marsh. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, you're not. You're not the crocodile hunter, old lady. How? So what happened with this story? Okay, uh, the movie it's not rated, uh, but includes several torture scenes and depictions of uh, detailed injuries, oh, as well as yes. nudity and swear like words. Eight, nine year olds, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And Winnie the Pooh and, and Piglet, they're very angry after being abandoned by Christopher Robin. So they go on a murderous rampage. Uh, victims are bludgeoned with uh, sledgehammers, okay. fed into wood chippers, and okay. strangled with chains. The mother also said her children were asked, <laughs> which, that her children asked the teacher to turn the movie off, uh, but the teacher declined. I like how it's declined. <laughs> like, no, no. Susie, this is sit horrible. back down. I don't want to watch this. And it's like, excuse me, I'm Notes. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's movie day. <laughs> this is the wow. this is the state of education in our country, though. Really, in a nutshell, yes, it is. <laughs> like drunk teachers showing their students. Yeah, like you're gonna have to know how to run away. Slasher from films. Okay. <laughs> Hung over. I'm just preparing you for TikTok. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot worse on there. <laughs> Also, the school admitted in a statement that a mental health counselor had to talk to several of the children. Jesus. So. Sure. 
Yeah, well, we're just like, preparing you for the school shootings. All right, <laughs> calm down. That is actually, <laughs> that's actually a good point. Most of you, sometime in your public school life, will experience a bloodbath. Yes. And we just thought that you'd want to know in advance. But with like a happy character, like Winnie the Pooh. I'm going to ease you into it. Yeah, we just need stuff. We're going to take something you love and take it from you, yes. and that way you will be prepared for, yeah. <laughs> for your high school years. For the rest of your life. <laughs> Before your friend is asked a question by a man uh, in a trench coat and uh, murdered in front of you. Yes. This Before is Before your the- good friend reje- gets rejected by a girl, and your life is never the same. Yeah. And for some reason, his dad doesn't keep his shotguns locked. <laughs> it's going to be a big day for your school. Maybe on even news. one of you will get famous. Yeah. And then you will be used by the media depending on which side you take. Yes, <laughs> yes it just depends. Who do you believe here, Winnie or Pooh? <laughs> so let me get this straight. You, young man, were in the parking lot pissing yourself? Yes. Uh, perfect. Okay. Let's put it. Can put we put you on scene it? How about a pedestal? Oh, God. There's a giant. So dark. Thing. We live in the darkest tar- time. We do. Line. It's the darkest. It's so hard to talk about, though, without making dark jokes because the, the content is just. Well, because reality is dark. So All of it. My friend has, I mean, speaking of TikTok, my friend has young kids around this age, and they came home terrified because the older kids were showing them videos of cats being hung on TikTok. So this Miami teacher really might have been doing these children a favor. Yeah, I mean, well, I was probably about eight when I watched Faces of Death. Mm. Remember that oh, tape? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the sleepover tape. And yep. it was like, yeah. come on, guys, what's real? And it turned out Arba Dwyer, very real. Yeah, a lot of that was real. And then Some the, of it was fake. The monkey was, it was real. Yeah, it was real. And uh, a lot of it was fake. I don't think I was eight. I've, I've never really been into horror films, though. Yeah, I dig them. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't some people, that's like their, their thing. It's not mine. What do you like? A Shawshank? <laughs> <laughs> like the only other movie. <laughs> it's terrifying. Look at him. Like a you've got mail with a me at line. the end of dumps every dumpster fire. Ah. Yeah, just I've there crawled she, through a river of it. shit and I am free. Yeah. That's a good point. That's the poster for the movie and also the ending. So when you're walking in, you're like, well, that happened. Yeah, <laughs> totally ruined it. Here's he gets out. I like the psychological thrillers. If I'm going to be scared, like The Shining, I loved. Oh yeah, it's a great movie. Classic. Yeah. Those were those were more my my in the genre of horror. Those were more my jam. I don't like the I don't like this the like torture porn. I'm not yeah. into that. Saw. Yeah, no, I can't. I've ne- I've never. There's seen a new it. one out. I've never seen it. We were saying we're not really into Let's that either. Yeah. Mm-mm. I like yeah. the first one. The first one's good. It is good. And then it just kind of like has a feedback loop of shit, and then it gets mm. worse and worse and worse. Have you seen Cabin in the Woods? I don't know. No. no. Cabin in the I, Woods is so good. I think you should. Okay. Just because even as somebody who's not a horror fan, I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. It's a great twist on the, the tropes of horror. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're watching right now, that is a Halloween uh, weenamendation. Does that work? Yeah, that's, that works. No. Weenamend. <laughs> Wait a minute. I was like, are we talking about Dylan Halloween. again? <laughs> <laughs> Halloween a recommendation. <laughs> into one word i got no? it i got yeah. it i was slow on that nice. that's 10 years from now i'm gonna be like oh i can't understand <laughs> like oh, with california Jason. <laughs> <laughs> halloween <laughs> recommendation Weenimentation. <laughs> you want to watch yes. it? come on guys that's why people kept saying watch trick or treat it's a wiener medation that's right they did they were like it's a <laughs> wiener i don't understand what you're saying <laughs> oh, <wiener. laughs> Wiener I thought you were saying Wiener Mendation. Wiener Mendation. Yeah. Wiener Mendation is that's also different. Yeah, that's also that's a, a thing. Wiener Menstruation is an entirely other one. <laughs> and oh. we're back to Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah. Yeah. We're just about it fully. Perfect right segue. There. That right there. Dra- right to the end of the world. Jamming yeah. the sticks of bottle rockets in your urethra and going, I'm a woman. Oh. What I'm saying should. is that man had rights. <laughs> woman. Woman. And I have no issue year. with that. Mm, no. For the sake of uh, libel? Anyway, um, <laughs> well, we are going to get to our question at the end of the world. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this was very blast. fun. I felt like I was in a, a green room. Very cool. You know, it's just, this is... That's what we're going for. That's, that's the vibe. Will you come I'm, Will you come back? Of course I will. Then that's all that matters. Let's see this. Also what matters. It's more than I, I can say. say. 
<laughs> the last time I was sitting in this set. Oh, oh. oh throwing that shade. <laughs> or spilling the tea. <laughs> no, this was really fun. Thank you. I'm really glad Even you... Even if it was PTSD inducing. <laughs> 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 heartfelt heartfelt oh no oh, were, you here, were you here for the dildo thing hello <laughs> no oh thank god <laughs> it's a different thing oh still we'll tell you later <laughs> that wasn't us it's not a yeah. wiener no. we've only been on for three months no. yeah that we'll say things that are crass but we yeah. don't actually hurt people <laughs> oh not yet same director though not yet <laughs> similar yeah <laughs> the, the man that brought you uh, you can see me at the Toledo Funny Bone October 21st come out to that show that's one night only on a Saturday October 21st and that's me as a young goth gal <laughs> that's uh, it's all of Angela's dreams right I there I just wish that I could be that <laughs> <laughs> she's beautiful could be you. yes Toledo Funny Bone also it's technically in Perrysburg but Toledo is the broader area come by Say hi and also the funny stop in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, October 27th and 28th. And then if you are in the UK, I have good news for you. Uh, if your country is still there on March 23rd <laughs> of next year, I will be at the LSQ Theater and you can come out yeah. and buy tickets. I don't know if I'd buy tickets today, Yet, yeah. but you might just want to put like a, a marker on there of like, hey, this could happen. Yeah. It might be hard to clap with no hands. It might be. You know, yeah, it's very true. Stumps. Yeah. Uh, you you could uh you could find me on Nerdrotic. We just uploaded a new video. Out. Go watch it. I edited it. Go watch it and uh, subscribe to my channel. And Bridget, where can we find you? Uh, on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At Bridget Getting Madison. bombarded yeah. with dead babies. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter's great. Um. Yeah. Probably don't go there. Um. You can find me dumpster fire on YouTube. Just go to the Fantasy YouTube channel and subscribe. And it won't matter. You won't get notifications. And we live in an algorithmic black hole. But <laughs> I still want you to try. We just had, live in a black hole here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure it's because of an algorithm. We're still trying to figure it out. I want to make t-shirts and say, it's not the algorithm. You just suck. <laughs> yeah, <it's> a, <laughs> and sometimes we look ourselves in the mirror and feel that way. <laughs> but, uh, blacklisted, man. Yeah. Um, I, I've, I've, come, I've really come to that acceptance. I just suck. Yeah. But it's fun to blame the algorithm. It is fun, though, when somebody writes a terrible tweet and they're like, yeah, I think I'm, you know, they're, they're dark. and not getting the interaction. Yeah, I don't understand. They're, they're, they're suffocating me. It's like, no, man, it's just a shitty tweet. That's like everybody being like, they're trying to suppress me because I'm too truthful. Yeah. You're like, no, no. No, no, no. You are too truthful, and that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. It's off put Be less like you. I don't like it. So now we bring you to the end of the world. Oh my God! I don't know. We almost had a second explosion. Yeah, well, you were <laughs> just very pre rare. preparing for tomorrow. Oh, um, what's the question? What's the question? So the uh, <laughs> the question is. I mean, the jokes we can't make. <laughs> that should be the name of the the show. The three of us start. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Jokes, jokes, and it will be behind the paywall on. just for subscribers. Right. <laughs> we really should do that because I feel like we've just had to. Uh, you, you can start a joke and then be like, like finish it at home. <laughs> Just the thing that the you're books. thinking. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> you know where I'm going with it. <laughs> I'm scared too. All right. That's where it comes from. Yeah, fear. Yeah. I, I, I fear. I fear terrorism. Really? Yeah. Well, because they're, mean, yeah, they're willing to even, die for it. We said it even, earlier. Even around here, it's a, it's gotten kind of like the attack that happened in Allen. Like I live, I lived in Allen at the Horrible. time. Horrible. Terrifying. Wow. Horrible thing to bring up right now. Terrifying. Well, it is the end of the world. I know, but that's my, true. My lord, yeah, way to way to ruin it. Well, I still were, can't get those you, Nikes I was gonna get. You are ants at a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> trying to lighten it up at the end, dang man! You come back three days later. You're like, is there is there a sale? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> so, so, what kind of deals can I get here? Hey, I saw the people gunned down in the parking lot. I'm assuming business oh, ain't too God. good. Oh, God. The darkest time. Trying to clear some stuff. The, like, you got a lot of stuff here. It's been coping. Yeah. Come on, we got We're just size, coping. There's size 10 and a halfs back there that aren't being used. 
Maybe somebody was trying on when they met oh, their God. master. I don't mind stains. I can wash those out. <laughs> okay. Oh, those are cool Halloween shoes. Uh, those aren't Halloween. Those aren't. <laughs> those, are, <laughs> those are just Converse that were by the window. All right. So let's read <laughs> this. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's All not right. funny, but... It's, it's, it's not. That's why it's funny. It's just... It's, it's so it hurts. dark. It's it hurts my heart how dark the world is. Yeah. No, I, I've and I, this is how I cope. Yes, I have an eight year old son. And that's why I make jokes that are so dark because I can't. I don't get humanity. Yeah, that's not great. Humanity's <laughs> dumb, and it, it should be not dumb. But you know, gotta deal with it no. with humor. Deal with it with humor. Yeah, and that's why we're gonna ask <laughs> what. Is Attitude Magazine? <laughs> the name makes me laugh. It's so bad. Like, who just buy that? Like, ooh, I'm just reading Attitude. Attitude. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, you got to do the Z snap. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tude. You got Attitude Magazine? So what? This feels so like '90s though. Yeah, the attitude. <laughs> yeah, it's, it feels like a or like an early like, aughts. Yeah, it feels like, like lime uh, green, teal, and pink, and there's like somebody doing a kickflip on the cover. <laughs> yeah. It should be like Tiger Beats, or it yeah. should be like uh, you know the skater one, Thrasher. Thrasher, yeah. Yeah, but it's like it's attitude, and it's just not nearly as cool. But your mom lets you read it. There's an advertisement <laughs> for Pogs. I'm like, yeah. oh yes, I want that one. Dude, that slammer's dope. The eight ball. That's the one I want. I'm gonna wreck you with this slammer. <laughs> I made my own slammers once. Did you great. really? Yeah, I'll make you slammers. I'll do a slammer. Pass them out at a show. I used to have some pretty badass slammers. I don't want to brag. I don't, me too. I don't know where they are. Dude, I lost all of them. Did you really? Yeah. Was it the Pog Fire? Yeah. Lost them in the Pog, the Great Pog Fire of 1998. I, I think I lost mine the second they stopped being cool, and I was like, no, guys, I never even liked those. You, they stopped being cool? I think the second they that somebody in junior high was like, do you know you can masturbate? And everybody was like, yeah. What are we doing with Pogs? Put these Pogs down. Yeah. I don't want to touch your hands. Pick my wiener up. I'm going to be at home. What was the question? Uh, the question. For tonight, sorry, ladies, we didn't mean to talk about. Yes, that was gross inappropriate. Stuff. Guys, pogs. guys are gross. <laughs> pogs are gross. Yeah, yeah pogs are. <laughs> P a w g. Yeah. <laughs> Fat ass <laughs> white girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gross though. I don't think you are. I just uh, that, just positive. I just realized that about like, your body. the thing that we like also has a double meaning in today's modern society. Yeah. Porn. Not that I've ever watched one. Yeah, I've never partaken. I've never seen one. Um, my mouth is dry. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, who is Attitude Magazine's next woman of the year? QB. Jake Uger. I like it. He's diversifying. <laughs> Bestiality. Transgenderism. Mm. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Angela. Um, J. Edgar Hoover. Oh, I like it. Oh, that makes sense. There's the cross-dressing. Yeah. It doesn't matter that he died in 1972, I don't think. No, you can dig up anybody you want for this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good one. Thanks. Bridget? Andrew Tate. Oh. <laughs> yes. Solid answer. He's taking over the women's areas now. I'm going to go with Peter North. <laughs> oh, oh, it's God. a good one. <laughs> He has been inside of a lot of women. I thought you've never so seen one. So he may one. know. No, oh, uh, oh, no. I've been caught. We'll see you next Tuesday.